Number one, if you do nothing else, this could change your life. Turn off your phone notifications. You do not need the ping, ping, pings. You are your own CEO, and you can make the decision about when to check your notifications. They don't have to check for you. Turn those babies off. As I started this presentation talking about, it takes 23 minutes to get back into focus after a pain that disrupted you. Don't do that to yourself. Turn off the notifications. Unsubscribe from email one at a time. I can't tell you how many people have shared with me that they start an inbox purge by unsubscribing to everything, and frankly, I've done it too. I thought, I'm just gonna take the deep dive and just look for everything. No, do this as you're going. They're gonna show up, and in the moment, you're gonna be able to make an intelligent, intelligent decision about whether you wanna continue with that subscription or not. But do that one at a time and respect your basic biology and don't burn yourself out. Do not over-organize. Keep it simple, smarty. I'm kind of an organization nerd, and that is learned behavior for me. I wasn't like the most pig pen of children, but I was, I was a stacker. But in my adult life, because I've worked from home for 22 years, I learned if I don't clean it up, I have to be around it all the time. So I kind of got good at organizing. And one of the key tips, Marie Kondo, I was doing this before you told anybody, don't go out and buy new stuff to organize your stuff. Because once you get organized, you won't need the stuff to organize stuff because you'll have less stuff. Make sense? So don't do that with your technology either. Don't do parent folder, 15 subfolders, more subfolders under that. You have to think big buckets. Grant yourself the beauty of a simple organization system. Do not over-organize. Keep it so simple. If social media is part of what keeps you addicted, please minimize your posting. Obviously, we're here at a business conference. It is important to be <coughs> present for social profiles on a consistent basis. But for you as a human being, if you want to get this in order, pull back and pull back on your interactions because of the dopamine game that I mentioned earlier and the creators of these social platforms know that you want the next dopamine hit, don't play their game. The less you post, the more you're gonna even have the opportunity or desire or need to look. So grant yourself that. Designate your inbox time. I shared the stat earlier where we're checking email like 74 times a day. Grant yourself the kindness of setting designated time. I fully acknowledge it is very challenging in our modern world and the nature of the businesses that I know you're all in to actually schedule something of that nature. Go, don't overthink it. Keep it simple. Think twice in the morning, once before lunch, three times in the afternoon. Whatever that is for you. But think big bucket, again, we're keeping it simple. But try to set some kind of structure so that it doesn't become a habitual, overwhelming thing. Because every time you're in that inbox, something else is demanded of you, or you're ignoring the thing that was demanded of you, and that is mentally taxing. Six, consider cloud first. Again, I know you're here on behalf of your business, and those are bigger decisions than I can address here about how to best organize for a business environment, how to make files accessible, and we have security issues, and I fully respect that. So this is, take this heed for you as an individual, but consider cloud first because of its simplicity. I shared that really cool story of how I was able to share with my cousin um, the family photos because I went cloud um, with my storage and the um, simplicity, the ease and efficiency of that, I would invite you put that on your list of considerations. Opt for the most simple communication mode to get things done. This is kind of business communication 101 in the modern era, but it, it's certainly worthwhile to mention to you. Don't call a Zoom meeting when it could be an email. Don't call an in-person meeting when it could be a Zoom meeting. Those kinds of things. Be very respectful. Of course we care about how it works for other people, but start with how you want to take care of you first. What would you prefer? Let's start there. 
Until you make the unconscious conscious, it will rule your life and you will call it fate. I hope in some way today, I am bringing you the consciousness of what's happening with your technology. But it's not your fate. You are not the victim of your technology. You hold the reins.